Good morning, beginning farmer friends. Welcome back to the farm, the Crooked Gap Farm. We've got to start mowing hay pretty soon, but before we can start mowing hay, we've got a little bit of repairs to make. The first of which is my Crooked Gap Farm crooked hay fender hood thing. So I've got it unbolted. There was just two half inch bolts that I had to take off. Now I'm going to hook on. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get it off because once it bends back, then we'll see what happens. In the words of Hannibal from the A-Team, I love it when a plan comes together. That actually came off fairly well and without breaking anything. I mean, it was already broken in the first place, so maybe I would have broken it, but I didn't break it more, let's put it that way. The other thing that I'm considering doing or that needs to be done at some point during this season is this gearbox right here needs to come off. The seal leaks a little bit right in here and I am considering how I'm going to either A, get it off so I can take it in to John Deere and have John Deere fix that seal or B just take the whole unit into John Deere and have them fix the seal and take it off and put it back on. My concerns are it looks like it's tricky to get to. It's it's attached back there. There is this big belt right here which I don't necessarily know how to deal with and um, it's quite possible though I guess that I could take this apparatus off right here and replace the seal with it on. I don't know, what do you think? Comments down below. Do you think I can replace the seal with it on? Also, did I tell you I got a bunch of new Hereford pigs? Baby pigs, young Hereford pigs. I brought all these home to the farm, not that black hamp looking one of course, that's not a Hereford, but I brought all these to the farm a week or so ago. I've got them out in front of the hoop house, gonna have them train to electric fence once I do a little repair on the electric fence in here and then they'll be ready to go out on the pasture. It's good to have these pigs on the farm now. I think between those Burke, Hamp, Chester White crosses that I got a while back, I had a video about those, and these Herefords, I think I've got about 50, 55 of those young pigs on the farm right now. That's a good feeling. The thing we need to do now though is get this broken piece right here, this broken piece right here we need to get it down to my cousin's shop farm shop farm farm shop there's the word I was looking for so that he can repair it so that I can go get it put it back on all that good stuff The other thing that I did recently that didn't make it to video is I moved the cows out onto the pasture. Started rotationally grazing them. I've moved them a couple times now. As you can tell, I moved them last night. Well, you can't tell this, but I did move them last night to this paddock right here. So they've done a little bit of grazing in it, but as you can tell now is what I'm trying to say. They are well relaxed and laying down this morning. They were grazing earlier when I came out and filled up their water. Now they're just loafing. Not a bad thing. To be completely honest, I could sit out here and watch them all day long. There is something very peaceful about watching the cattle graze and munch and hearing them chew and walk through the grass. It's, it's just incredible. But no time for loafing today. We've got all the things that we've got to do. Plus we have a CSA delivery today in Des Moines. So that's a thing that needs to happen. So we've got to get that thing, that fail thing, that mower thing down to my cousin's ASAP. I just had a thought as I was driving down to my cousin's or driving away from the farm, I guess I should say, about those cows that I have out on pasture now. It's time to sell some. I've got some heifers in there that are going to be for sale. Maybe a cow or two that I'm gonna sell. So if you're interested in some Dexters, some heifers, unregistered, but good on pasture, 
I've got some in South Central Iowa for sale, so uh, look me up, let me know. I don't have a ton that I'm going to sell, but I do want to thin it out a little bit. We talked about that a long time ago. I'll put a video up somewhere where I talk about how many I want to sell. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of heifers. Huh, look at that. Looks like my cousin has the baler hooked up, ready to go, and he's got a new baling tractor. The diesel 830. I guess the air conditioning probably works on it, depending on how fast you're going. Let's get this unloaded. I'll take you around and show you a tractor too, and then we'll get out of here. That's the thing about coming here is you can walk like 10 feet and come across four different brands of tractors. Minneapolis Moline, Alice Chalmers, International Harvester Farmall, and John Deere. It's just, they're all over the place. But I also am wondering if my cousin watches these videos anymore because there's a Minneapolis Moline M5 over here that I wanna go see if there's a part that I could steal. He's not home right now, so. My exhaust manifold has a crack in it. That one has a smaller crack that is still held together by repair a little bit. So, I don't know. I don't know if I really need to fix the exhaust manifold. I mean, it's just an exhaust manifold, but um, this is just stuff you can look at when you come here. For whatever reason, I find this kind of hilarious. This is a hay rack full of rubber tires. It's a steel wheel hay rack. Okay, enough dilly-dallying around. I could spend all day here showing you interesting things. We don't have time to look at interesting things though. We've got a lot to get done to get ready to get on with everything that needs to be done here on the first day of June. Now that we're back on the farm and I've got that dropped off at my cousin's to get repaired, I want to go over the rest of the 926 MoCo, check some oil levels and things like that. I also wanted to say hi to Jake. Come here, Jake. Come here, Jake. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, <laughs> there, there's Jake. Jake's got energy. Lots and lots of energy. Okay, Jake, I gotta go work. The oil level is supposed to be up to here. This is your oil check spot right there. The oil level is not up to there, which means it has leaked out quite a bit. I'm gonna fill it up. Then we're gonna see how long it takes to come out, I guess, is the idea. We'll see. Dragon's full. So this is the gearbox that drives the cutter bar. There are, of course, a bunch of grease zerks that I need to go around and check and grease those on this. And then there is one other big place that is important to check, and that is the oil level for the cutter bar. In order to do that though, I have to have this hooked up to the tractor so I can lower it all the way down. That way everything is level. I'll probably back it into the shed or onto the cement so I know that things are as level as possible. Then you check the fluid level. It's just got a sight glass and it's supposed to be halfway full. I'll get that done, like I said, when I get it hooked up. I've never had a problem with that leaking before. This is the problem area. I'm thinking, as I look at it more just now, that I will be able to replace that seal without taking off the whole thing. I think I'll be able to get enough room, I hope, to get in there and replace that seal. So, I might give John Deere a call, check into a seal kit for the 926 John Deere MoCo. I don't know what you would call that, main gearbox? Loading up for the CSA is a little more difficult during farmer's market season. I guess it's not more difficult. I still just load everything up, but deciding what to take is a little more difficult. Do I wanna just, you know, sell when you can, you know, sell when the iron's hot kind of a thing. And if people wanna buy it, just sell it. Or do you wanna hold back so that when you are at the farmer's market, when you're in front of those thousands and thousands of people, you have the best variety possible so that you can try to build a customer base there because I don't, I don't know. 
it's this is a smaller group that we are in front of tonight some of them are regular customers already they know to pre-order things like that so necessarily they wouldn't be buying a lot of add-ons it's just a it's a tough decision i went with the hold a little bit back especially since we're going to be a little tight on pork in the month of june so i've just got one cooler of csa a few pre-orders in here and then grill stuff brats more brats bacon and some special sausage some special crooked gap farm italian sausage that's oh and summer sausage that's all really i'm taking today getting hay mowers ready getting csa ready running errands running around it's just been kind of a pell-mell day at crooked gap farm and here we are at the csa drop-off Got my friend Jordan from Great A Gardens. You remember him from uh, the downtown market when I wore that weird bacon suit. He's here dropping off his stuff. We've been selling a little stuff. I did just sell out of chicken, so I better take that off the board. But I wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy the video, put a comment down below. Let me know what's going on in your world. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I've got like five or six people yet to come. It's a nice day. I think I'm just going to relax.